morning girls, today I'm filming a pretty exciting video. I know, I think that's like my intro all the time. Maybe that should be my thing to say that, but honestly it is quite exciting because I do love talking about these kind of advice videos and when I found a new routine that I really love. So it has taken me a few years to kind of find exact products that I love and a certain routine to get into. But basically it's all about going blonde as you can see from the title, just lightening your hair. Even if you want to just transition from a really dark colour to a lighter colour, it doesn't have to be like platinum blonde. Obviously that's not what I am, so yeah, I just kind of ha have gone to like a dark blonde now. But a few months ago I dyed my hair really dark brown and without like applying any more chemically heavy bleach products on my hair, I did just use a lot of drugstore brands and no hair dye, like all very natural products, so yeah basically all relies a lot on shampooing. So first thing I'll get into is the shampoos that I use. I, the, my absolute favourite one that I still have now, I'm going through another tube, is the Provoke Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo. Talked about this before but basically it's a violet toned pigmented shampoo so it doesn't, it's not a hair dye, it's not like a permanent colour change but they say to use it about once a week. What I like to do is use it I, initially, during the first stages, I really, really recommend using it every time you wash your hair. That's what I did, and um, along with that, you're going to be lightening your hair. So it's kind of like going lighter but avoiding any ginger brassy tones. So I leave this in for about five minutes, sometimes even up to 20 minutes. I'll use it as like a hair mask, let it kind of penetrate into the hair and then wash it out later so it kind of dries and has more of an effect and it definitely definitely brings out like very silver lighter tones in your hair and yeah it helps with removing the brassy ginger tones because my hair's a lot cooler tone now than it used to be. They say once a week but it's not a hair dye it's just a purple tone shampoo that kind of alters your hair colour but doesn't apply a colour over the top if that makes sense. So really love that one, it's only about £4 and like I said I used it about three times a week initially for the first month and then after that I think I actually went through two tubes of two bottles of that because I used a lot and I really lathered it all over the hair because obviously you want all your hair to change colour, you don't want to just have half um, blonde and then the rest of it ginger. So basically I would use that and then after I'd conditioned and everything just use normal products. So another shampoo that I did use uh, for a while, it's used up now but I just wanted to show you guys, the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Colour in Use. So a lot of John Frieda products but they're really good for coloured hair. This is the tone correcting shampoo so it was also purple violet toned and slightly more, you get more um, in this tube than with the Provoke one, but I found the Provoke one to be a lot more concentrated. The I don't know, it just after each wash you could definitely see the difference. I think that's why they said limit it to once a week, because otherwise you'll end up with like white or silver hair. But yeah, somehow it just worked out well for me. I didn't find anything wrong with this one, it's not my favourite, but it is another drugstore potential. So yeah, if you've also just recently dyed your hair blonde and you're in between uh, hair appointments and you're not going to obviously dye your hair yourself, just to make sure any brassiness is neutralised and your roots are, you know, all in good condition, I'd recommend purchasing a purple shampoo as well. Before drying it, I would apply the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonde Spray. So this is what actually makes it blonde instead of just removing brassy tones. So, because obviously if you're going for a brown colour, it will just go a very warm ginger tone and that's not what we want. So at the same time, to get a really gradual change, I just spritz this all through my hair and the nozzle actually disperses very, very evenly so you won't get patches in your hair or anything. You can even brush through it and yeah, focus on specific areas, use it for highlights or just the ends if you want like a more of an ombre look. So you can do anything you want really. But I sprayed it all through the length so all my hair was gradually lightening. And of course some areas got more of a spray so it did lighten a little bit more. But it still looks very natural. I don't know if you can see now but it's slightly um, different tones in my hair which I like so it's not all just one like block colour. And it also doesn't go yellow or anything. I, you know, I've gone from quite a like mousy dark blonde shade to quite light blonde so it honestly doesn't go yellow or orange or anything like that especially if you're out in the sun a lot or like around chlorine and pools and that sort of thing that can really alter your hair as well after using the John Frieda spray I would also obviously use a heat defense because obviously when you're putting any sort of color or chemicals in your hair you do want to really protect it and because going blonde can really really dry out your hair um, just lightening it has a lot more 
if you're using a dye or even just like a lightening hydrogen peroxide spray, that's obviously still chemicals. So you do want to make sure your hair's hydrated. So I would spritz this all through and then obviously what actually lightens your hair is applying heat to the hydrogen peroxide. So that's why they recommend um, using like the sun and spray or this John Frieda one, for example, and then going either out in the sun or using um, heat products to dry your hair. So it kind of activates the chemicals and lightens the hair. Just make sure you're using a lot of heat defense if you're gonna be using tools on your hair. And obviously this kind of hydrogen peroxide spray, it's not good for your hair, so you don't use it like every day. I use it twice a week now, maximum, and usually just focusing on the roots, because obviously they're constantly growing and you wanna, you know, keep the transition color minimal. Those are the main tips I have. Now I'll show you a few more things I've added in sporadically to my routine. They're not holy grail, you don't have to do these things. They're just things I really personally recommend. So first is a hair oil. I really, really recommend this for the lengths, not just like the tips and the root, the ends of the hair, but all through the lengths. Cause again, using any kind of product that alters your hair color is gonna dry out, put a lot of stress on your hair and you don't want to have to keep cutting it. And yeah, you don't want it to dry out cause it just won't look good, especially if you're going for a very light blonde. So this is the Tresme Oleo Radiance. I did have a few of items from this collection and this is just one example. It um, has argan and almond oil, which are both very, very nourishing for your hair. They're quite deep and intensive oils, so you don't have to use it every time you wash it. Especially if you have fine hair, it can really weigh the hair down. But for me, I do like to uh, use a lot of oils because I'm using a lot of heat and products on my hair. And the ends, um, you know, they're getting a little frazzled and they are very long, so I don't want to get loads of damage through my hair. So I use loads of oils, but this is just one example. Another recommendation would be a hair oil treatment. So you can use this as like a pre-wash treatment where on dry hair to really let it soak into the strands, just apply oil conditioner or one of those drugstore treatment really would work, but just make sure the ends of your hair are very nourished because they can break off, if, break off if you're using peroxide lightening products. And then last but not least, I hope all of this has made sense to you because I've kind of done a mishmash. Hopefully this has all given you guys a good um, insight into my routine and certain products you can incorporate into your regular routine and just when you're showering, just very very simple, only takes a few minutes for each of these products. And then finally, if you are, for example, in between hair appointments and you don't want to do anything like too crazy to your own hair, I would really recommend using the Bleach Blonde Hot Shots. So this doesn't have bleach in it. It's not um, super chemically. It does have some um, lightening products in it, but it's not going to alter your hair because honestly, I used all four from this packet and only then did I start to see a difference. It's not like you apply it and then wash it out and then suddenly your hair's like silver or platinum or something. It's just to get rid of brassy tones again. So it says color treated or highlighted hair takes out brassy tones in one shot. So they're just little sachets of um, like violet toned shampoo treatment. And then I would actually recommend only using half per wash. When you wash your, when you wet your hair, it really does lather up very, very easily. So just to save yourself the money and the time, you can just cut the sachet open and then squeeze out about half. So you have about eight portions uh, package so works out very very well that should last you for approximately a month because you don't want to be using this too often but I would use this instead of the purple shampoo so don't overload your hair with these products because it won't really do much good you do need to um, lighten your hair quite gradually I would say if you're doing it at home uh, especially if you're going from a darker color just to avoid any issues you don't want to suddenly come out with orange hair because that will take ages to fix so yeah, like I said, I've been doing this for the past few months. I'm really happy with my hair color as it is now. In the sunlight, you can't really see it now, it's a little darker, but in direct sunlight, it looks like really, really golden blonde. So yeah, it changes tone depending on the lighting, but I think I have all of these products to thank, just incorporating them all into my routine. Um, basically only using these types as shampoos, and I almost never use normal shampoos now. But for the other tr treatments and lightening sprays, you do want to stop using them once you've reached like a light color and then maybe just on the roots like once a week. But hopefully that made sense. I know I rambled on a little bit, but if you want any more questions answered, do leave them in the comments below. If you want any updates or any other kind of hair treatments and review videos, do let me know because I really enjoyed filming this and talking to you guys about this. So thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.